Kolhapur, also known as Dakshin Kashi, is a beautiful city with rich cultural diversities. On the 1st of September 2005, it stepped into a new era of excellence with the establishment of D.Y. Patel Education Society, deemed to be university, under the Section 3 of UGC Act 1956. The founder-president of the D.Y. Patel Education Society, Padmashri Awardi, Dr. Gnandeo Yashwantrao Patil, was a man with a vision. Ex-governor of the states of Tripura, Bihar and West Bengal, he has created an educational legacy that will live forever. Sanjay Patlani Charti Dhazar Trollis Mati He Naditu Nandli And to 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 develop Kira And the Bhagdur Tum Bhai Lata To Utkushtu Bhaga Utkushtu Siti Hai And Sanjay Patlani Sarka Utkushtu Siti Siti Vantana Bakshis Madlet Bhanti is very competent Administrator To Adarsh Mulgai, Hani Jitisa Mulgai, Hani Tana Pretendish Doganemu, as you pardon him. Dr. Sanjay D. Patil holds the office of present Chancellor of the D.Y. Patil Education Society, deemed University Kolhapur. He is also president of the D.Y. Patel Education Society, an eminent educationist, agriculturist and entrepreneur. D.Y. Patel Group was established in 1984 under able leadership of Padmashri Dr. D.Y. Patel. More than 162 institutions have been started till now. More than 11,000 teaching and non-teaching staff are working full-time in these colleges. And I am very happy to tell you that till today, more than 3,53,000 students have been passed out from the institution. This D.Y. Patil University, Kolhapur, has been started in 2005. Our university has been accredited net A grade in 2012 and also in 2017 for next five years. And also the HRD ministry has ranked high university in top 100 best universities in India recently in 2018. The result of the sheer determination, discipline and hard work of Dr. Sanjay D. Patil, who built on the foundation laid by his father, Dr. D. Y. Patil, saw the establishment of the D. Y. Patil Medical College in 1989. The college was affiliated to the Shivaji University and then to Maharashtra University of Health Sciences till 2005 when the D.Y. Patil Education Society deemed university was established. The university was fortunate to have its former chancellor, Dr. Vijay Bhatkar, a distinguished scientist, researcher and Padma Bhushan awardee, former vice chancellors Dr. S. W. Kulkarni and Dr. S. H. Pawar were followed by our present vice chancellor, Professor Prakash B. Behre, an eminent psychiatrist and Fellow of the National Academy of Medical Sciences and Dr. B.C. Roy Awardee. We are having two colleges, D.Y. Patel Medical College and D.Y. Patel College of Nursing in our university. Last year, we got UNESCO Chair of Bioethics in our university. And recently, we also started a student wing of UNESCO Chair in our university. There are in-house four journals published by our university. Most importantly, one is from medical college, other is from the nursing college. The nursing college is now publishing their own independent journal. There are 32 PhD scholars registered in our university. They are full-time, they are working. We have project grant of approximately 4.9 crores funded by Department of Science and Technology, ICMR and other agencies. Handling all quality assurance measures and innovative academic efforts is our pro vice chancellor Dr. Shimpa Sharma, professor in general medicine. A progressive board of management, an active academic council, 
innovative faculty and supporting non-teaching staff have allowed this university to progress with great ease and offer students a contemporary education with cutting-edge technological aids. We believe in holistic student development and creating global citizens for society. This will remain our primary focus and our commitment to society. The NIRF ranking by the Ministry of Human Resources and Development putting the university in top 100 and the accreditation given by NAC twice in the A grade are evidence of a job well done. University has given to the nation 20 doctorates awarded at the annual convocation ceremonies. The Doctorate of Science of DSC, D. Lit Honoris Causa, has been conferred on illustrious personalities who have made an impact in different fields. Keeping with times, the university has a fully functional ERP system portal catering to curricular and administrative working. Strict enforcement of the anti-ragging rules have enabled a ragging-free campus. Starting with 100 MBBS 5 PG program seats, today the college is recognized by the Medical Council of India for 150 MBBS seats and PG seats in 14 medical programs. Alma mater to over 3,000 doctors across the world, the college stood 33rd amongst medical colleges in India and third among private medical colleges in the West Zone in 2018 by the India Today survey. Dean of the Medical College, Dr. R.K. Sharma is a professor in gynecology and obstetrics with a background in the Army Medical Corps. Our college is 29 years young and we are growing steadily and constantly from strength to strength. I am very happy to say that our college has got unique distinction of having all the undergraduate and postgraduate programs fully recognized by Medical Council of India. Students at the colleges are exposed to contemporary teaching and learning opportunities with senior experienced faculty, modern laboratories with the latest equipment, simulations and mannequins provide outcome-oriented training, well-planned museums with rare collection of specimens, modern digital library with over 5,000 e-journals and 11,000 e-books, well-organized modern library with close to 16,000 books, spacious reading rooms for undergraduate and postgraduate students. Well-equipped and well-maintained laboratories, classrooms and auditorium are available to all departments. Smart classrooms with Wi-Fi and LCD projection, smart boards and visualizers are used as mediums to teach students in an interactive manner. A Wi-Fi campus adds to our efforts to be in line with Digital India mission. First in Maharashtra and only third in India, the Cadaveric Bioskills Laboratory at the college is a unique training platform for surgeons. They learn new surgical methods and procedures on soft embalmed cadavers. The anatomy department has created its own version of embalming fluid that has made this venture both cost-effective and safe. The efforts to create awareness in body donation have made it possible to provide ample learning material for budding doctors who are trained in the dissection hall of the college. As a service to the public, the college provides free body storage unit and a mobile unit for the bereaved families of expired persons. Another avenue for holistic and modern learning is the yoga laboratory which provides both research and training. Dr. D.Y. Patil Medical College Hospital and Research Center is training ground for medical and nursing students. Established in 2003 and spread over 29 acres of land with a built-up area of 29,000 square feet, the hospital provides modern patient-centered healthcare to both urban and rural population. The 800-bedded ISO-certified hospital is currently in the process of applying for NABH accreditation as well. A busy casualty department is manned 24 by 7 by highly trained staff. The hospital caters to around 1.5 lakh patients every year with over 50,000 admissions and more than 13,000 surgeries. The hospital provides routine 
and specialized treatment avenues through 10 specialty OPDs and over 20 super specialty OPDs such as diabetes care, hemodialysis unit, high-risk obstetrics, antenatal and postnatal care, immunization clinic, endocrinology, hematology, nephrology, gastroenterology, rheumatology, neurosurgery, plastic surgery, pediatric surgery and spine clinic. For the underprivileged patients, the hospital ensures that government programs offering subsidized or free treatment are made available. In addition, a family health insurance scheme has been started by the hospital offering 20% further concession to five members of the cardholder's family at only Rs 300 per year. Latest investigations like MRI, CT scan, ultrasonography, Doppler ultrasound, 2D echo, digital x-ray, mammography etc. are available in the radiology department. A modern blood bank with component separator unit organizes blood donation program throughout the year. High-end infrastructural facilities include the ultra-modern clinical laboratory at par with global standards, which is also in the process of applying for NABH. Critically ill patients are admitted and monitored in the 48 ICU beds with 24 hours presence of trained doctors, high-end ventilators, central monitoring systems, supply lines, etc. Round-the-clock dialysis is available for patients. The operation theatre complex includes 13 operation theatres, CSSD, anesthesia checkup room and recovery rooms laparoscopic and minimally invasive surgeries, joint replacements and endoscopies are routinely performed here. Future doctors train under senior, experienced surgeons in all these procedures. Various bodies working relentlessly to ensure healthcare standards are the Hospital Quality Assurance Committee, Hospital Infection Control Committee and Pharma Co Vigilance Committee. Our in-house pharmacy follows good practices and renders to ISO standards. The hospital campus has well-maintained garden, the convenience of an ATM facility and green initiatives like solar panels for heating, biogas plant, sewage treatment plant and LED lights. Under the Swachh Bharat mission, the grounds are plastic-free with recycling of all liquid and solid waste and garbage separation. Rural community-oriented medical education of students is done through the adopted RHTC and primary health centers in Ghotawade. Rashiwade, Isfurli and Shirori villages. Telemedicine facilities at Ghotawade allow for prompt and expert medical care for the patients. Students also visit other villages through the Village Adoption Scheme and the RCOMET programs. In the last five years, the hospital has conducted over 2,700 camps benefiting over 2,70,000 rural and semi-urban patients in the Kolhapur district. The D.Y. Patil College of Nursing, established in 2006, conducts B.Sc., post-basic B.Sc. and M.Sc. nursing courses in addition to training the A.N.M. and G.N.M. The modern teaching facilities, with a clinical skills laboratory for practical competency training, has seen the college provide over 1,000 much-needed nursing professionals who have gone on to serve society both in India and abroad. Research and innovation are an integral part of any university. In 2009, the university established its research wing, the Center for Interdisciplinary Research. The CIR not only conducts PhD courses in medical and interdisciplinary branches, it also conducts MSc course in the field of medical physics and stem cell and regenerative medicine. The Center for Interdisciplinary Research has the latest in cutting-edge instrumentation and equipment to enable both doctoral and postdoctoral researchers to conduct the work in emerging and thrust areas. The Animal House offers translational research facilities to researchers exploring fields of pharmacology, stem cell research, nanomaterial sciences. The work done at this university has led to publishing of 15 patents, a thousand research publications, identification of two new strains of lactobacilli and other noticeable achievements. 2015 saw the establishment of the rich cell to foster and further the development of clinical research. 
the rich cell houses an independent digital library with the latest research enabling software and includes the diabetes care center and andrology laboratory the university holds regular state national and international conferences organized by the departmental faculty the latest in audiovisual aids allows for innovative interactive relay of live surgical demonstrations at the workshops held during these conferences Extracurricular life at the university offers students multiple opportunities to develop their talents and skills. Students participate enthusiastically in the various cultural celebrations held on campus. The annual gathering organized by the students themselves includes sports, cultural and literary activities. There is an active students' council and students are represented on academic and administrative bodies of the institution. Hostel life is both safe and comfortable for all students with strict enforcement of anti-ragging rules. DY Patel Education Society, deemed to be university, has achieved standards commensurate with the best, but will not stop here. My aim is to take this university at global level. Thank you. This is where we translate dreams into reality.